Whoa. The lady who had been calling in about this poor borough, I think she lived up on Demerit, which was above Jamaica, and she could see right. this thing walking up and down. She called and said a bunch of guys had really abused this poor animal, and we should be arrested, and uh, wanted to put out a warrant for our arrest. Thank you. Thank you very much <laughs> for helping. But we got it. We got it. It was fun. Do you know the, uh, since we're going to do uh, good deeds go, no good deed goes unpunished. That's right. The big trailer that we brought down, mm -hmm. we were so exhausted, as you can uh, just heard, we had a lot of problems getting that trailer with all that stuff down. And we had a motorcycle in there and everything. We had too much weight, so the frame broke, and we had a terrible time getting, it took about 12 hours to get from Las Vegas to here. And rather than put it on the lot, we had to change tow truck things because of a legal problem, which I'd rather not go into, right on the <laughs> middle of the bridge crossing between Nevada into Arizona. And the Nevada guy wouldn't st set foot in Arizona, and the Arizona guy knew there was a slight problem with his stolen, restolen trailer. He wouldn't go over. It was really, asking, come on, we're this close. Hook him up. Let's get out of here. But anyway, I just put it next to the house for the night. We were exhausted. I was being written up a citation for <laughs> zoning ver violation. Doug Gayweiler up the hill, and other people up the hill saw this trailer. They can't have that there. I'm like, thank you. Welcome to Havasu. Welcome to town. Wow. Where is the trailer? It's uh, in Florida. In Florida? Yeah, a guy wanted to start a radio station there, and I just said, don't put a motorcycle and That's right. <laughs> a transmitter That's in there. The Maybe it'll make it. Breaks the trailer's back. Oh, my. Okay, you guys, can you sit for a while? Oh, absolutely. Okay, let's refresh the coffee, and we're going to play. Are we playing commercials? Yeah, we, we can do a few of those, and uh, it's our last day. We have a lame duck thing here. For those of you just tuning in, it is the last day. Uh, this broadcast is uh, both on KFWJ and KBBC, as uh, we've sold the stations. These, this day will be the last day under our control, so we have a lot of stuff we're going to be doing. And let's see if I can find a real long... Da, 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 da. Oh, this is a good one. I'll play this. This is kind of a short one, and then we'll do a commercial and song and stuff like that. Here we go. This is my mother. I have not heard any of these, hey, by Mom. the way. Here we go. Lee, this is your mother, and I'm so sorry you lost your job. But if you remember, Lee, I told you 40 years ago it wasn't going to last. But don't worry, something will show up. In the meantime, Lee, why don't you move in with me? You know I have that extra bedroom. Oh, there's, moms always believe in you, don't Thank you, for Mom. They did, too. My mom and dad said, you're moving where? Sure, you'll have your own radio station, son, <laughs> but there's jackrabbits and burrows. That's right. What good is that? Okay, let's see. What am I doing? For, uh, of course, oh, i got to record George Tanner's news, don't I? Okay. We're winging it here, folks, and I don't want to play any music too hard because we're on AM, and I don't want to kick off any of those pacemakers, <laughs> including yours, Mom. Here we go. We're going to play a little song. Jim Rosensweet, our very first employee sitting in here with us. This, in the next break, let's tell them about our pipe and tobacco shop we started. Oh, yeah. <laughs> what a winner. It's 6 a.m. I feel so far. 